Oh gosh, what did I say? <laughs> My name is Connie Yoon and I'm a lighting designer. I've been working with the company since 2015 and Lucia de Lammermoor is my fourth production with the company. A lighting designer works with the director and the other designers to figure out what the lighting state should be for the show and to uh, illuminate what we want to see on stage and to complement the storytelling of what the director would like, to, um, would like the production to be. It's a tricky one. This is a hard question. Yeah. <laughs> At its most basic, the lighting designer is uh, determining which lights turn off and on, but ultimately what we are doing is using light to help tell the story that the director and the rest of the designers are trying to elucidate with this production. This is an example of a small lighting plot, um, and each of these little symbols represents one lighting fixture that we would put at a location, and uh, based on um, what's called a key, the technicians understand what type of fixture is supposed to hang at what location, and there would also then be information about what type of gel, which is a color filter material to put inside of it, and what um, channel number, which is sort of the control number that we would want to be able to reference in order to um, turn it on. Yeah, the crew is um, installing all the lighting fixtures and the various um, pipes. They're going to hang them, they're going to plug them in, and they will test them to make sure that everything is working before it goes up into the air. Eventually, once everything is hung, the set will load in afterwards, and once the set has loaded in, we will turn on each light and point it to what we would like for it to illuminate. And then hopefully, then we'll start actually programming our cues. I started in theater, actually, all the way back in grade school. Um, I was in uh, some of our grade school musicals, and uh, it turns out that my talents are actually better served backstage than they are on stage, and um, started doing lighting um, work in the sixth grade, and then kept doing it in high school, um, taking on more and more uh, roles in the lighting department and ultimately started um, designing shows when I was in college um, and then just went on to uh, keep doing it outside of school. So a typical schedule for me would be probably about six to twelve months ahead of time I would start uh, learning the piece and then about a month before uh, I come to uh, the venue I would be submitting paperwork based on the technical plans that the company has given me. Usually my work is about six to eight weeks before we actually open the show. And then when I show up, um, it's about a week process between uh, my arrival and when we open the show, and it's a very busy week. Uh, I think the most exciting part is um, for me, it's usually the first orchestra dress rehearsal because it's the first time that I get to see all the components uh, come together on stage. Uh, well, I would say the most difficult part is moving from the theoretical to the actual. So different than scenic design or costume design, there really is nothing tangible um, to look at until you actually come to the stage. So there's no fabrics to touch. There's no um, paint samples to look at. There really is only the theory of what you think that color is going to look like on stage and how it will behave. So those are, I think, the um, big challenges for the lighting designer. Uh, we work in a very compressed amount of time and we uh, really just have to think about it theoretically until we, until we actually are here in the venue. Lighting is not always about um, the biggest effect, sometimes lighting is about um, the subtle changes that are happening on stage. And they can lead you to feel a certain way even though you don't really realize you're being pulled in that direction. And I think that's where lighting is the most successful when it's sort of psychologically changing um, how you are feeling about what's happening on stage. And um, it's so intangible that you don't always even know you're being led down a certain path, but if we're doing it correctly, uh, you'll feel something and you might not even know why.